ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that just prior to going to sleep last evening, I said just prior to going to sleep last evening, a young man, I got to turn off the voice recognition. A young man had a video on the television known as TikTok. Yeah, somebody telling a vision on TikTok. And what he told me, I could not believe. As a matter of fact, I'm so flabbergasted that I, 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 before I do anything this morning, I'm going to talk to y'all about my flabbermagashin. Okay, and y'all should be flabbermagasted too. Now, what am I flabbermagasted about? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the South. Y'all know about the dirty South? We going to talk about the South. I want y'all to pay attention. The following pages were written in South Carolina during the session of legislature in the months of February and March 1873. They take their coloring, pay attention, from the scenes by which the writer was surrounded. The explanation is necessary to account for the form in which the portion of the contents is presented. I have no positive theory in regards to the future of South Carolina. Fifteen years ago, when emancipation seemed distant, I ventured the prediction that the Gulf states would finally become surrounded to the black or surrendered to the blacks. Really? But the abolition of slavery having been suddenly precipitated, the conditions of the problems have become changed. Yet there are those who believe such is now inevitable. Fate of the several southern states, South Carolina included. In the following pages, I have combated this sentiment as regards South Carolina and have pointed out the method by which it seems to me it's Africanization Africanized bees, Africanization, can be prevented and suggested some of the considerations which should inspire an effort to prevent such a result. Ladies and gentlemen, this publication known as the Prostate State, the full title, let's give it to you so that you can look it up. I'm going to put the PDF up probably be later today i have a meeting in 10 minutes i can't do it now but let's give you the title if y'all don't mind seeing the title the prostate state the prostate state colon south carolina negro government there was a colon but you can't save it with a colon so i had to put a dash okay look that up pdf google books has it everybody else want money to provide you a copy Google Books has it for free. This is from Google Books. I don't promote Google, but hey, free is free. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 1873 is when this was written. I want you all to do yourselves a favor. Re-educate yourself because they lied to us. The Negro as a legislature. Say what? The black parliament. Say what? Hold on. Negroes were legislatures? The pure blacks, the ruling power. No! No, no, no! When, when did that happen? Wait, wait, wait. Are we living in the Mandela Effect world parallel universe? Something is wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not taught none of this bull, I mean, this stuff in school. None of this was ever taught to me. It wouldn't have mattered one way or another because history doesn't shape my life. But you know what does matter? They lied to me. They told me that all them Negroes, yeah, Negroes, the raw Negro as a legislature, his qualities, qualifications, his ignorance and corruption. Uh-oh. Now they're getting stupid.
okay? Sambo, as a critic on the white man. Beverly, is that you? Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't read this, but I guarantee you, I don't even like going over stuff like this. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the hostility of the blacks to immigration, promise of the future, the humiliation of white minority, uh-oh, the rule of the Negro in the South, what it is, what it pretends, an education, the character of the Negro, morally and intellectually, yeah, they have a character, all right, the demand of justice and statesmanship. The state's troops in Carolina, because that's how they got rid of Reconstruction, ladies and gentlemen. Well, technically, they couldn't get rid of Reconstruction because it was the law. So what the legislator did, ladies and gentlemen, that's why they burned all them books. Go back and look at the history of everything. That's how they took control, because they changed history. They changed history. All of this junk we were hearing about these pole Negroes being so pole stupid and broke that they couldn't do anything and they needed help from the government. Ladies and gentlemen, they were the government. Don't believe me? Go and do your research. These are the books that were at the time. This was 1873. They claimed they got rid of Reconstruction in 1875. So this was during the height of Reconstruction. Yes, you've heard of Reconstruction. I've heard of Reconstruction. Ladies and gentlemen, they talked about Reconstruction. They mentioned the word Reconstruction. To reconstruct something, it means to change it, to remodel it. You don't believe me? Look at how many times this government has torn down that which was there before. You guys... I didn't have any idea about the buildings and everything that were here before. All they told us that that junk was land. It wasn't no buildings. They were just teepees. Do you guys know that there was a civilization here in North America? Which is why the Spaniards didn't move northward? We keep hearing about Indians. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't call them Indians. He knew exactly who they were. See, we were told these stories and we believed it. Just like Columbus discovered America. We were told that story in 1692, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. You can tell that that was a story led to convince people. Why? Because they made it into a rhyme. In 1692, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I never heard that as a kid. I didn't hear that until I was an adult. I had to add it up. And when I heard it as an adult, I thought it was stupid, and so I kept repeating it. 1692, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And now you start to believe that it was 1692 when all of that happened. Ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't 1692. It wasn't 1692. People of color, Negroes, were here in the United States prior, prior, prior to Columbus coming to America. He didn't just bring them over here. Oh, wait till you go through this. Do y'all know that... <laughs> Negroes had slaves? Now, if y'all want to do some research, go do your research and find out who the Negro slave owners were in America prior <laughs> to 1905. Just do your, do your research and find out about the Negro slave owners. And who was their slaves? And how they did it openly, registered, and everything. I'm not joking. They lied to us. Stop letting them lie to you. And I promise you, you offend me by lying to me. They lied to us. All right, y'all take care. Find this book, do your research. Gotta go.